Atashik, Modern Technologies for Joining Materials. Mix and applying dense dual glues. Today I will shortly cover mixing and applying dual glues techniques. To do that I will use extremely dense masses. Those are MET AL21, FE21, MET21, which are for aluminium, steel, iron and brass and bronze and other non-ferros. The procedure is all the same for all the products which is going to show you in a moment. Remember to wear protective gloves as usual, as well protective cloths to stay clean. We'll start with MET21 glue, which is in brass in color. Nice one. First, make sure you have read the proportions. Here we have 3 to 1. It is given in proportions, but if you prefer weight, you may do that. However, it may vary from the proportions much. Here we have 4 to 1, for example, MET21 is 3 to 1. How to do it? The easiest way. The stick and the mat is available in our shop. So you could order them together with our glues. If you wish to mix small portions, choose one scoop, change the ends of the stick or take a new stick to keep it reaction free. Scoop the other composite. Note. All these kinds of dense glue may become liquid after a month or a year. They may separate, therefore remember to stir prior the use. Do it thoroughly here. and only then apply it. Follow the procedure for proportions. At one scoop, two, and three. Recap it after use. You may ask, how do I know the proportions are right? Or what will happen if one composite is lesser than the other? Therefore, I may do it like this, without any scale of That's why I use 3 to 1 proportion. Should you take too little of the hardening composite, the time will simply extend. The regular hardening time is 60 minutes, depending on temperature. If I give less of that, the time will extend up to several percent. Make sure you like the film. More information below. If I apply more of that, the time will shorten, but it will not be a spectacular difference. It is typical for those glues like epoxy glue or dual composite glue. Make sure that the proportions when applying were the most equal to each other. If you want to be extra precise, use a scale. The application, however, is sufficient for the glue to work. I will not mix in that way, as I may take a lot of time and will not be effective. In dense glues, it is more effective to spread the two compositions instead.
You don't have to worry about the mat, it is made of free sticky surface. It is polyolefin, therefore I may not care about it, as it may be used many times. If it was a piece of metal or glass, it will stick to it sometimes more, sometimes less, but then I will not be able to use it again. Here, after hardening, I will remove it easily. As you may have observed, while I'm stirring and spreading the glue, I squeeze the air out of it. In the glue. With little scoop of glue, you may use smaller stick to apply it. Or like this, a spatula. Make sure that the color is homogeneous. You spread the glue to do it. Spread it a bit to check if the color is homogeneous. There are two ways of that type of glue application. Any of those glues may be used both to stick the surface or immerse the elements in the glue. If you apply the glue and then match the elements, then the advantage of this is that after applying some glue and press will squeeze any additional air in the glue. This is the easiest way to do that. The other method, as you may see, I tested them before here. Take some glue. Should there be any scratch or defect, or we wish to level the element, then don't apply a single portion by pressing and spreading the glue as it may contain air inside. I do it in two ways. It all depends on the area of the surface. I just spread it and press it inside. And the subsequent layer and there is no air in it, like that. It is removed the first way. Layer after layer. When you finish, you may heat the glue as it will be more liquid, especially if we wish to immerse such joints. You may also heat the outer layers as well as the material itself once a thinner layer is applied to make it liquid. The third method to obtain thicker layers is by use of a net. It may be single or double net, depends on what we need. Just scoop some glue and spread it against the net. And the consequent layers the same way. Remember to press it. Usually I will not do it. If you look at it, you will see that the entire glue went through the net. You may also prepare the net on the mat you're using like that. I squeeze through the net. And only then I apply onto the surface. You just immerse the net in the first layer. The glue went through the net. And now apply as much as needed. and another layer. Make sure that if this type of glue, the glue was behind the net. So 
So you may apply as much as you need, layer after layer. The one could be our fourth method. However, it is not the fourth, because instead of the spatula, we may apply the first layer and and we use the trimmed brush for that. And we spread it against the surface, like this. Circular moves. Look, the layer is thick, very thick. And the layer that is applied directly onto the material is well spread. When it comes to the brush, spread it as far better than using a spatula instead. After that we add some more. Then we may use other methods with or without a net. It is also efficient when you will apply the glue between the surfaces. It is not necessary, but you may try it with larger materials. You may spread both elements with the glue and match them together to mount. Last thing to present, how to obtain from such a dense glue, as you may see here, much less dense glue, perhaps not too watery, but more liquid one. You set the heat gun to 100 to 150 degrees, set the minimal blow, hit the surface, you may do it beforehand. Should you forgot to do that, we have the glue applied and then depending on the application time. We may heat it up to a few minutes. Observe what happens. It is becoming honey-like glue. Just a moment. Hit it a while. It is merely 100 degrees and minimal blow. Now, if you wish to apply it into the thick crack or immerse it, then you will obtain honey-like consistency that will help you. And you not only improve the glue specs, but you make it more robust at the same time. Remember that while heating and wish to place the glue on the vertical or slanting surfaces, make sure that you prevent it from running off the surface and the higher the temperature and the reaction time will shorten. In the cold application you have about 60 minutes while heating Depending on the given temperature, you may increase the hardening process of the glue. Following the guidance I have presented here enables you to repair it properly. For introductory footage, I think it is enough and should you need to learn more, we'll make a new one. Subscribe us at Atashek Grupa Wsparcia. Visit our store at www.atashek.pl.